blessed Joseph, spouse of Mary, teacher of your God and Lord, you did shelter and provide for wondrous child by kings adored. Open to God's word in dreaming, saved your child from Herod's soul. Good morning, everyone. Father John Joseph, and I welcome you to this novena in honor of St. Joseph. As you know, his feast day is coming up on March 19th. So we come asking Joseph to intercede for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we pray this wonderful prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Today, my friends, as um, we reflect on St. Joseph's life, I would like to reflect on his aspect of being an obedient father. As you may recall from Scripture, St. Joseph was very obedient in listening to his dreams and inner voice as God spoke to him. God reveals his saving plan to Joseph by using dreams, which in the Bible was considered a way how God would make his will known. Joseph will have four different dreams as God speaks to him, and Joseph always obeys. We recall Joseph's Annunciation from the angel Gabriel who spoke to him in a dream and asked him to take Mary to be his wife, even though he had no relations with her. Joseph is distressed by this command. However, he is obedient in following the dream and taking Mary to be his wife, even though he doesn't quite understand the dream itself. Joseph is a man who has a lot of common sense and he thinks of a way of putting Mary away quietly, lest she encourage disgrace before the dream occurred. In another passage from St. Matthew's Gospel, we find Joseph's obedience in following the Lord's command in another dream. We are all familiar with the slaughter of the innocents and Joseph's flight into Egypt in the middle of the night, after experiencing the dream to take the child and its mother and to flee, Joseph arises in the middle of the night and he flees to Egypt. After several years of his stay in Egypt, Joseph once again uses his common sense and a dream and returns to an unknown small town in Galilee called Nazareth. It is there that Joseph felt it would be safe to raise his family. In each of these situations, we see how Joseph is obedient as the Lord speaks to his heart through a dream. He doesn't know how the dream will play out, but he is receptive to God's commands and trust in God's providence. In his recent book, Pope Francis encourages us to dream of our futures. Dream of our futures. He says, have it be a time to see, a time to choose, and a time to act. 
God works through us in so many unusual ways as he did through the first Joseph in Egypt who was sold into slavery and ends up saving his family from starvation because he trusted in his God. St. Joseph is another example to us of a simple man who used his common sense and his faith to obey a loving father in caring for his son and his wife. We too should be inspired by his example of trusting in providence. God's divine providence works in so many ways that we don't quite understand. But if we are people of faith, as Joseph was, God can work through us. On a personal note, as a child, I had special devotion to St. Joseph. I saw in him a simple, loving, caring, and obedient father. When I entered the order in 1960, we had three options in choosing a new name. I wanted Joseph as my name, but since Brother Joseph claimed the name before me, I resorted to Butler's Lives of the Saints and came up with the name of John Joseph. To this day, I call upon St. Joseph to intercede for the universal church, for happy death for all of us, and helping all of us to be obedient to our dreams, and that we may always listen to God's inner voice. St. Joseph, intercede for us. Let's take a moment of personal reflection before our prayers of intercession. And our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be obedient to the Father and following our dreams as St. Joseph was obedient. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the universal church, especially for all fam fathers of families and those who are struggling to know and do God's will in their lives, we ask that St. Joseph intercede for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are exiled from their countries, as Joseph was, and for all those who suffer because of the coronavirus, that St. Joseph may intercede for them. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now bow our heads as we pray for our more personal intentions. Lord God, we come to you this morning with grateful hearts that you have given us St. Joseph as an intercessor. We look to him as a man of faith, a man of hope, a man of dreams, a man who cared for his wife Mary and his foster son Jesus. Continue to bless us and to bless all those who do not know their way. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you through the intercession of St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with us. God bless you, and look forward to hearing from you again here at Dales for Abbey.